about it yesterday, I knew you were coming, and I thought about it, I just started kind of thinking about education, and I thought, isn't it amazing in the year 2011, with all the problems that beset our communities, our society, and education, that how could any governor come up with their number one priority meaning to, being to cut public education? That whatever's ailing you, whatever's ailing public education, cuts are what is necessary. And it reminds me, there's some support. If you think about the governor's approach, it's a little bit medieval. It's sort of like in medieval times when you went to the doctor and they weren't sure what you had, but they knew what you needed was a little bloodletting. And so they pull out the leeches, right? And they give you the treatment. And the problem is, you were worse off with the treatment. The cure was worse than the disease. Well, just take it separately down your The governor's approach and this legislature, this Republican legislature, is to starve our schools into fiscal and academic anemia. Now, I, uh, it's hard to understand, and I know the governor is an educated man. So why, why would the governor approach education in this way? Well, my friends, it is a question of values. It's a question of an agenda. What is the agenda? What could the agenda be of folks whose number one goal is to cut public education? In all of the problems that we face, their number one goal is to cut you and to cut the support for the things that our children need. It is a question of values and it is an agenda, my friends. It is an agenda because they want something. You've got something and they want it. There's two things you've got that they want. Number one, political clout. And number two, money in the public school system. Money that they believe can be taken from Main Street and put on Wall Street. Because the for-profit charter schools want what you've got. Some people look at education strictly as a business. They look at government as a business and say it should be run as a business. And you see, Wall Street, they've already taken so much of what we have. They've taken our savings. They had the, the real estate bubble. Our homes are worth less. But Wall Street looks at Main Street and they see one big fat pile of money. They see the billions of dollars that are spent in public education. And they say, why should we be spending on public education and paying people a decent wage and providing this service when we can take that money, put it on a for-profit, publicly traded education system, pay people half or less what they're making now, and get that money on a one-way trip to Wall Street? That's what's happening, my friend. That's the agenda. You know, education means many things to many people. In a democracy, public education occupies a special place. Horace Mann said, education beyond all other devices of human origin is the great equalizer of the conditions of men, the balance wheel of the social machinery. Why would the Republicans want anything to do with public education? It is the great equalizer. It is a special thing in democracy. And what you do is special. It is cherished. It ought to be cherished. It ought to be valued. It is here. I'm with you all the way. I love how you've lit up Lansing. I hope you'll be back to take this capital city back. Corporations aren't the people. You are the people. Thank you for taking back your democracy.